Here's a little devotional I wrote called Seek Me With All Your Heart. God wants to be found by you, but you must seek after him. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings to search it out. God reveals himself to those who seek him in a special way. Seek to obey him, to follow him, and you will walk closely with the Lord. It's not enough to want to be close to God. You must seek him wholeheartedly. I may say I want to be in shape, which many people say, but if that desire doesn't result in me taking actions to get into shape, then nothing will change for the better. Put your money where your mouth is. Actions speak louder than words. God said there are types of people that honor him with their lips, but their hearts are far from him. They can talk the talk, but do they walk the walk? If anyone says he abides in him, he ought to walk in the same way which Jesus walked. 1 John 2, 6. Paul told Timothy to live a disciplined life in order to be godly. There is no godliness without intentionality. The Bible says, train yourself for godliness, 1 Timothy 4, 7. Let me ask you this, what steps are you taking to train yourself for godliness? Are you purposing in your heart to seek the Lord? There are many ways to seek the Lord, and I don't want to prescribe a specific way because the Holy Spirit will lead you in that as a shepherd leads his sheep. I do want to ask you, though, are you seeking the Lord with your whole heart? A half-hearted believer is lukewarm, which Jesus spits out of his mouth. If you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God. I want to challenge and encourage you to seek the Lord with your whole heart and you will find him.